Hey guys and welcome. In the last 12 hours we've had a lot of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer leaks. Some really interesting pieces of information that have just been completely kept secret from us that data miners have managed to find within the Modern Warfare 2 game files. Others relating to that are the four mastery camos coming to the game, the map names, quantity of base maps at launch and people even accessing the multiplayer menus right now on any platform. We have a lot to speak about today, but make sure you guys check the timestamps below and it would mean a lot if you could consider leaving a like on today's video and even subscribing today if you are brand new to the channel and you want to keep up to date with all Modern Warfare 2. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So let's begin with the multiplayer. Today we've seen reports that people are somehow accessing the Modern Warfare 2 main menu, access the likes of the firing range, operator menu and even access to all of the camos in game mastery or just the generic ones you unlock leading up to the gold camo this was done by rather plugging in a mouse and keyboard into your console and simply pressing f6 or loading up modern warfare 2 from within warzone and it would take you directly to the multiplayer menu this might have been patched as of the time of this video going up but it's still worth trying Within the firing range though, people have also been able to access and use weaponry from the game and that will be from the launch of the game, so we've had a feel and see a lot of screenshots for all of the new weaponry coming to the game. Along with maybe the DMZ stash behind the firing range, which if we can just walk around this like I picture that we probably could and equip and unequip weapons and equip attachments and our stash going into the games with, this looks epic. But one of the main things I've took from these data mine leaks and from people accessing these main menus are in fact the weapon challenges coming for the camouflages. Some of them extremely painful as you've probably imagined, but I want to go through a couple of them in this video and I'll leave the links down below to all of the other ones if you wanted to go check them out. So let's start off with the assault rifles and go through some of the generic challenges for the camouflages. These are mainly what you would expect in that were in previous games, but just to detail what they are, we have the likes of the kills category, headshots, stance charge kills, which is apparently like crouching, hip firing, long shots, mount kills, full attachment kills, shortly after reloading kills, no attachment kills, and a five kill streak 35 times. And yes, you should expect very similar challenges for the other category of primary weapons as well. As I mentioned, links down below, go check it out for yourselves. But then we come on to the interesting weaponry, which will be the ones that take by far the longest. And that will be the launchers, knife, and the riot shield. And they'll all be on screen right now. There are four launchers in this game, so expect a long and painful grind. The knife and the riot shield are always kind of fun to go and do, so I'm, I'm not too worried about those, but... Launchers are my sworn enemy, and especially coming off the back of Black Ops Cold War, they killed me in that game, so I'm hoping they're a bit easier to get in this one. Of course, with these camouflage leaks, we get to look at the mastery camos as well, and just the categories before gold, one of them being the Section 4 solid colour camos. These look really good. I actually really dig these, so I'll probably be rocking these when I do go to get gold. But interesting enough, we've also got to look at some of the main mastery camos. Of course, we've seen the likes of gold and platinum before. They were from Modern Warfare 2019 and will pretty much look the same in this game. But the main ones to look at today are Shattered Dark Matter Ultra, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'm really excited to try this out. It covers the entirety of the weapon and looks really, really good. And then the big one, the space camo. This is like a mixture between the Infinite Warfare Space ca uh, Camo and also the Dark Aether Camo from Black Ops Cold War Zombies. But this is looking a lot like more of the picture of the universe rather than what we had in Infinite Warfare. Very much like the picture we see on screen now. And they are all confirmed to be animated as well because people have accessed them and they are moving right now in game. So of them will probably need a couple of updates here and there to make them look a bit better and more vibrant. But as it stands, they're all animated and they all look really good other weapons as mentioned all the links are down below this is actually 100 percent real like these are not leaks these are real we've had people get into the lobbies and have a look at these so check them out in the description down below you'll be able to see videos and everything about them so yeah check them out links below now diving into zombies something i never thought i'd be talking about within modern warfare 2 it turns out for the zombies community we could be in luck here or it could be nothing. The zombies community has had it really, really rough in the last year or so with Vanguard, with it just being really shit, and Sledgehammer eventually giving in and putting out a round-based map, which was just really mid. But within the Modern Warfare 2 game files, there are links to a round-based zombies mode and outbreak, like from Cold War. 
Outbreak being that different spin-off zombies mode from Black Ops Cold War where you have a bit more freedom and running around and doing different objectives here and there. It wasn't really for me, but a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. And then the generic round-based zombies mode, which in Cold War was very, very good. I just can't help but think how good a zombies mode would look in Modern Warfare 2 with its insane graphics uh, engine and just generally how the game plays. I think it would be the next level thing to have that. And maybe that's the secret coming for next year. Now, it is worth noting that all Call of Duty games, as of Vanguard, all now use the same engine hardware. So it is very possible that all of those are leftover assets from previous projects or ongoing projects right now, and they were in the engine from that. But it is always nice to speculate and to think about, and potentially it is in the works, or it is a thought at least, or was a thought at some stage for Modern Warfare 2. But only time will tell. And now finally, we're going to finish off with a bit of DMZ. Now, this isn't a leak as such, but I just wanted to bring this to your attention and put a bit of light on it. Throughout the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, we're introduced to many different mechanics that will 100% be in DMZ. And I think they're teasing a little bit here and showing what is to come. For example, in one of the missions, we need to scavenge for parts, use our bag back to craft items, and then use them to pry open doors, boxes, supplies, and even equip different attachments on the fly within these crates. I'm really, really gassed for DMZ. I can't wait to give it a go. And all of these features are here for everyone to try if you can play the campaign right now. So go give them a go. Let me know what you do think. I think it works quite well. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works in DMZ as well. But Guys, that's all for today. That's all the leaks that we've had. I'll leave all the links in the description. Go check them out if you want to see the videos of all the weapons, the camos and things like that as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of the DMZ stuff is being taken down So and copyrighted. So I won't be showing that in this video, but I'll leave links down below. But hope you've enjoyed everyone. Drop a like if you have. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And we'll see you all in the next one.